Hello my friend, really glad to see you here. Today we have really interesting and I would say like a really tricky algebra question. So we know that the sum a plus b equal to 10 and the product a times b equal to 20, we need to solve it for, for a and b. So if you have your solution, your assumption, you can also write it in the comments below and then we will check your answer. So it will be really interesting. Okay, so first of all, how do we solve this type of question? First of all, from first equation, because we have two equations, first one and the second one. From first equation, let's express our, our b. Okay, let's do it. So from first equation, I'm going to underline that this is our first equation, we're going to express our b. So our b is equal to 10 minus a. So we have 10 minus a from first equation. And right now, let's plug in this, uh, this instead of this b, let's plug in 10 minus a to the second equation. Okay, let's do it. So we have second equation, we have a times 10 minus a equal to equal to 20. And this is our uh, equation. Right now we have only one variable, we have only our a, so let's simplify it, let's try to solve this equation for a. And it looks like this is a quadratic equation, but let's see. Uh, let's multiply this a by this parenthesis, so we have 10a uh, minus a square equal to 20. Yeah, this is a quadratic equation, but we prefer a little bit different order. We prefer x square on the first position, the next thing with a, and the third position is a constant. So that's why we, we want to change an order real quick. So first of all, on the first position, minus a square, plus 10a on the second position, 10a, and minus 20 from our right side. So minus 20 equal to equal to zero. And the final tricky move, because we don't like this negative sign in the beginning, we prefer a classic order with the positive sign. So a positive a square, we don't need this negative sign. So that's why the last trick is to multiply it by by minus one. And as a result, we have a square, so a classic quadratic equation, a square minus 10a, and plus 20, plus 20, equal to zero. All right, this is our quadratic equation. And right now, right now, let's solve it. I'm going to use the basic method of coefficients, maybe a lot of students here. So that's why I'm going to use the classic, the basic, and uh, the basic method. So that's why a equal to one, b equal to minus 10, b equal to minus 10, and c equal to equal to 20. So we know all these uh, coefficients. So then let's start, for example, with the with the discriminant. Yeah, so we have our d equal to b square minus 4ac. All right, so let's plug in errors. We know everything. So b square minus 10 square, this is our b square minus 4ac minus 4 times a times 1 and times c times 20. Let's evaluate it. Let's simplify this. So minus 10 square equal to 100 with a positive sign. Minus 4 times 1 times 20 equal to 80. Yeah, we have equal to 80. Equal to 80. And as a result of a discriminant is equal to is equal to 20. So it means that we, we have a greater than the discriminant is greater than zero. So from here we can expect like two to real a real number roots. Okay, so let's find it. A first and a second. So a first and a second equal to minus b plus minus square root of discriminant and all over all over to a. So let's uh, let's solve it for let's find our discriminant. What do we have? Minus b minus but b equal to minus 10. So minus minus 10 uh, plus minus square root of discriminant of so square root of 20 and all over to a two times one. So let's simplify this. Uh, two negative signs, we have positive, so minus times minus equal to plus, so we have 10 plus minus. Square root of 20, how can we express it? Because 20 is not a table case, so I'm, my quick recommendation is to write this instead of this 20, let's write 4 times 4 times 5 and all over, all over to. And right now there is one really important and really helpful uh, property. We can split our square root. We can write it as 10 plus minus square root of 4 times square root of square root of 5 all over all over 2. Right now square root of 4 equal to 2, so we can step by step we can simplify this. Yeah, we have 10 uh, plus minus 2 square root of 5 over over 2. And the last thing, we're going to factor our 2 from our, uh, from our numerator. Let's do it. So we have 2, and in parentheses we have 5 uh, plus minus square root of 5. Yeah, and we divide it by, by 2. And that's why I factor this 2, because I want to cancel this 2 in our numerator with this 2 in our denominator. So we're going to cancel it, and we have 5 plus minus 
square root of 5. So we have two, uh, two roots. So these are a first and a uh, second. But don't forget about the beginning, because in the beginning we have a and b. And that's why, just keep in mind this expression, b equal to 10 minus a. So right now let's group, let's gather all the, all the roots uh, together. First of all, let's write our a first equal to 5 plus square root of 5. Let's start with addition, so 5 plus square root of 5. And a second equal to 5 minus square root of 5, 5 minus square root of 5. Really great, but as I said before, we need to find our, we need to solve it for b, so but b equal to 10 minus a. Okay, so right now let's find our second uh, variables, a second, uh, b second, and uh, b first and b second. Yeah, we know a first, a second, so right now we need to find b first and, and b second. So that's why we have b first equal to 10 minus a first. So let's plug in it right here. So b first equal to 10 minus a first. a first equal to 5 plus square root of 5. So 5 plus square root of 5. Okay, let's let's simplify this. So b first equal to 10 minus 5 minus square root of minus square root of 5. From here, 10 minus 5 equal to 5. So we have b first equal to 5 minus square root of 5. We have a symmetrical answer. We have a symmetrical pair right here, 5 plus square root of 5, and right here, 5 minus square root of 5. So it's, it's really great. Right now, let's find our, let's solve our second pair. Let's find our b second equal to 10 minus a second. So that's why we have a b second equal to 10 minus a second minus this one, 5 minus square root of 5. Okay, b second equal to 10 minus 5 plus square root of 5. Right here, uh, 10 minus 5 equal to 5, so we have b second equal to 5 plus square root of 5. Really great. So we have we have our answer, and let's gather all the all the pairs together, and let's write it. Uh, let's write our final answer, and in the end we will check our our roots. So our answer. So first pair a first a b first five plus square root of five. So five plus square root of five, five minus square root of five. This is our first pair, and second pair. 5 minus square root of 5, minus square root of 5, and 5 plus square root of 5. And in the end, we, we're going to check our, um, our uh, roots. So first of all, let's remember our question. Um, a plus b equal to 10, and a b equal to, equal to 20. So our question from, from, the, from the beginning. And right now, let's... Mm, let's uh, check it. First of all, let's check our addition. But we have one really interesting and tricky moment. We have a plus b, and we don't need to check both of these uh, pairs. We don't. We only need to check. Like, we need to check only one of these because a plus b is the same as b plus a, because our answers, our pairs are absolutely symmetrical. So we will have absolutely the same answer. So that's why we're gonna che check a plus b equal to ten by these parentheses, by these pairs. So a. 5 plus square root of 5 plus b plus 5 minus square root of 5 equal to equal to 10. Okay, we're gonna cancel this one, this one, and we have 5 plus 5 equal to equal to 10. So our root is absolutely absolutely great. And right now let's check real quick our our multiplication we, with the same logic. We don't need to check both of these, uh, both of these parentheses. We only need to check only one of these because a times b is the same as b times a. So that's why let's check the same parentheses. So 5 plus square root of 5 times 5 minus square root of 5, 5 minus square root of 5 equal to equal to 20. And right now a lot of students might be multiplying uh, parentheses by parentheses, but just learn and to, let's, let's remember this formula x square minus y square equal to x plus y times x minus y. This is all known school identity difference of squares. And we have the same thing right here. Difference of squares, a plus b, a minus b, or in our case, x plus y, x minus y. We have absolutely the same, uh, absolutely the same values. So that's why this is a difference of squares, x square minus y square. So 5 square minus square root of 5 square equal to, so 5 square equal to 25 minus square root of 5 to the power 2 equal to 5. So 25 minus 5 equal to equal to 20. And our root is absolutely, absolutely correct. So multiplication works perfectly, addition works perfectly 
as well. And this is my solution to this question. A great question, I would say like a relaxing question. This is not a hard question, a basic a classic system of equations. We have a quadratic equation, so basically this is a question about a quadratic equation. If you get to this point, uh, to this point, if you understand these uh, thoughts right here, so you can easily solve this question without any, any problems, without any doubts, you can solve this question completely and step by step. So if you still have any question, write a question in the comments below, it will be really interesting to read about it, it will be really interesting to exchange information in the comments below, because a lot of students, a lot of teachers, and it's really great that we are here and we are discussing about math, maybe you have a question, maybe you have a problems with it, maybe you don't understand uh, moments, maybe you don't understand how can we solve a quadratic equation or different things, a lot of really kind people here, and of course we, we are ready to, to help you with, with, with a different thing, with the mathematic because that's why this is my main goal on my youtube channel to make math uh, clear and understandable for for everyone and that's why i make these videos different videos different challenges different questions and i really hope you enjoy it i want to say thank you for for being here for watching it's really kind of you that you support this type of content with, with the likes with the dislikes with the comments it's also really interesting and it's really great to see your respond and thank you for your time have a great day see you in the next videos